Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, and today I'm bringing you Monster Harvest, a game that is developed by Maple Powered Games, and it overall has a very interesting take on the whole farming genre that you typically find in Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons, Stardew Valley, and so on and so forth. The game does officially release on August 31st, I believe. It has unfortunately been delayed numerous times this year. Originally it was scheduled for spring, and then I think like around May, then July, then August 19th, and finally August 31st, but it is finally here. Alright, so before we officially begin, let's go ahead and take a look at settings to see if we can, you know, we got something here. Wow, that's actually... okay. Interesting. Master volume, mu okay, so that's all it is. This is master volume, music volume, sound effects volume, and then yeah, I'll just keep all that at the highest, of course. Uh, we'll go into general, and that's all that. Okay, it's incredibly simple. Um, let's just go ahead and dive right into a new game. Add your player name. Well, I pretty much always name myself the same name. No, 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 not X. What am I doing? Oh, shoot. It's actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Okay, that was weird. The whole naming. It's like it almost wasn't responding there. What? Okay, the board isn't actually coming up anymore. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, it comes up there. Um, okay, farm is going to be manor. It is very strange, though, because... Like... Huh. The, the keyboard isn't coming up anymore when I... I mean, I guess I'll have to look at that. Okay, we're gonna do... Down. Do a check. There we go. Finally come up again. I was just... You see how just like the letter N was coming up? I was just pressing the A button and N was actually coming up. I'm not really sure what was happening there. It may be a bit of a bug. I'm not actually sure. Okay, we're gonna do... Shiny. I always name myself Shiny. And... Done. Okay, shiny and then matter farm. And I'm gonna go with this one here. Sure. There we go. You have four options. Alright, so super excited about this game. There's been a lot of hype into this game for the past couple months, really for the past year in general. I was living in the city, barely getting by when one day I received a letter from my uncle. Oh wow, it's not a grandfather. Whoa, this is unique. I hadn't heard from him in years, but I remember him fondly from when I was young. He was a scientist and was always excited to learn more about nature. I wonder what he's up to now. One day I received a letter from my uncle telling me about an amazing new discovery he had made. A substance that can transform plants into animals. His letter tells me he's named these creatures Planimals. Wow, that's amazing. The discovery has gotten a lot of interact- oh, wait. Uh, interest, sorry. I'm at a weird angle. You know what? I should sit. There we go. More like that. He wants me to come and take care of his old farm. His letter says he's far too busy with his research to deal with the farm. He writes that he remembers how much I used to love visiting his farm many years ago. Never really cared for the city life and like adventure. I think I'll take up my uncle's offer and take over his farm. I wonder what my new life will hold. Oh wow. And I'm just right in here. Hi Shiny, I was hoping you would get my letter. This is Professor Spark. Welcome to Planimal Point. Planimal Point? Well, that's the name people have started to call it ever since I discovered Planimals. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Here's the farm. It's all yours if you want it. It might be a bit overgrown. I have been far too busy with my research to tend to land and spend most of my time in the lab, lab, oh my god, in my lab in town. I remember you used to love coming to visit the farm when you were younger. That was a long time ago, but I'm sure with some hard work, you can get the farm looking as good as new. I think you will really enjoy it here. The country life suits you and Planimal Point is a great community. I have to get back to my research. But settle in and I'll come back tomorrow with some seeds to show you the basics of farming. Okay. Well, we're here in our home. Oh my god, looks like someone is knocking at your door. You should check it out. Uh, okay, sure. What do you mean knocking? There was nobody knocking my door. Good morning, Shiny. Are you excited for your first day on the farm? There was nobody knocking on my door. <laughs> Seriously. I'll teach you the basics and we'll get your first crop set up. 
so you'll so you'll be all set for your new life as a farmer. To interact with things, all you need to do is press the interact button when you are close to an object or townsperson. You can move a lot faster than, than I can than I can, but if you need a boost, press the dodge button to forget. Yeah, that's actually what I press once right there accidentally. Most actions you perform will drain your stamina. The status bar shows you your stamina in green, your experience points in blue, the current weather of money, and the weather. Okay. If you run out of stamina, you will be too tired to work. Some items like food or crops will replenish some of your stamina. Now let's get you to farming. To clear your farm and ride to the soil, you will need to collect or select the right tool for the job. Tools and items can be sh uh, chosen from the quick select menu. The axe can cut down trees and small logs. The pickaxe can break stones and minerals. To ride to the soil, you have to till the, the ground with the hoe. Once you've cleared some space and tilled some ground, take these seeds and plant them in the tilled soil. Plants need to be watered daily with the watering can unless it's raining, otherwise it'll wither away. Be sure to refill your watering can at the pond when you run out. After a few days, you will have a fully grown crop. You can place crops or items you want to sell to the consignment board. Okay, I'll sell you any any good. You post it to the right buyers. And, okay, makes sense. Why don't you try it out? When you're done for the day, be sure to rest up in your bed. You can sleep through to the next morning, or you can rest until nighttime and do a few more chores around the farm. I'll stay here for today while you get started. Sure. So, are there like any quests or anything like that? Or is it just honestly like free for all mode? It looks like it's just free for all mode. Okay, so basically, L and R make you change the, um, you know, the different items that you're holding. Cool. So, it looks like the hoe is this one. Wait, what is that? Okay, I'm actually wasting all this stamina. Dude, I can't even tell what these things... Okay, there we go. I can look at it like this better. Oh, that's the... Okay, no, that, that, that is the hoe. That's what I thought, but it wasn't actually doing anything. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, wow. Is this for house upgrades? Okay, A does nothing. Y uses the tool on my... I know I'm, oh, okay, you have to till over here. You can't till over there. I guess that makes more sense. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do the typical harvest moon thing. Nine. Nine squares of soil. Cause I mean we have nine seeds, so you know, it's all good. Uh, can you hold it? No. Damn it. Okay, so it's one at a time, uh, but I mean I'm still gonna go with my nine, you know, I'm just so used to freaking harvest moon. <laughs> okay. Then water. Okay, thank god the game doesn't make you waste more water. If you already hover over when you already watered and press Y, um, you will not water again and waste stamina. That's good. Okay, so they're all watered. That's good. Uh, what is the sign over here? Soil level. One. You have... Okay. Times zero. I need... I need times two. Alright, so... If you press minus, it actually brings you up to this menu. So this here is the pickaxe. Um, and it even tells you, used for breaking rocks and minerals. The axe is used for cutting wood and trees. And there's the hoe. Okay. So we'll go with, uh, let's try this. Awesome, you discovered wood. It can be used to build things like fences and chests, if you know how. Okay, let's take, let's keep uh, exploring the L, L button over here, or the minus button. Sorry. Um, so this is crafting. The crafting tab shows items you can make yourself from items in your backpack. Recipes are unlocked by leveling up your character. Almost everything gives XP, so check back once you have leveled up your character to build new items. Okay, I see. This is the calendar, so we're currently on the first, it seems. Um, wait, but I can't actually see. I can't move it, because if I move the, the stick, it's only letting me move the bottom, not the top. Interesting. And there's the, the plant decks. Not the Pokédex, the plant decks. And there's Planimals. Oh my god. Dark Season. Okay, I'm not sure what all this means, but I'm sure we'll figure it out later. Um, so blue is XP, you know. Um, okay, I think we're pretty much good here. So every time you actually do any kind of work, the blue meter does actually fill up. Which is pretty nice, of course. 
Okay, so those are giving... Well, that's... What the heck? I'm not sure what the thing on the left is. Oh, okay, that's just a prompt of you picking up. Okay, because I was seeing one on the very left and also on my the quick bar at the bottom as well, so I wasn't really sure. I mean, I'm just doing this right now, just getting a bunch of wood. I don't know if I should be doing that, but let me explore a couple other things. So what is the sign again? That's just for house upgrades? Okay. Uh, what is this? Same thing, it seems? Okay. I suppose we can actually wander around here and see a couple things. This is the consignment board. Uh, any items you... Uh, any items you post to the consignment board will be automatically sold in the morning. Alright, it's basically the shipping bin. Think of it like that. Okay. Um, hey Shonda, why don't you try using those tools I gave you? I, I did. I used them all. Well, actually I haven't used them all. I can still use my pickaxe. Alright, let's take a look at this pickaxe here and try using it. We get stone or rock. You discover rock. It can be used to build things like paths and buildings if you know how. <laughs> I like how it says if you know how. That is totally implied text that really shouldn't really like be on the game, you know? Like, everything is if you know how. I mean, if you take a look at any Harvest Moon game, you can be like, the axe will, le will let you, you know, like, chop trees or whatever. Like, or sorry, the axe will let you get lumber if you know how. Like, everything is always implied in video games if you know how. I didn't mean to press Y right there. It's just funny. It's just funny seeing that. Um, can I actually go like, all the way over here? It'd be nice if I can. Ooh, look at this. I discovered something. You haven't unlocked the bunker yet. Aw, oh, man. Really? That's okay. Let's check. Oh my god, I can't even walk past here. Jesus. So much crap in the way. Yeah, no, I guess it's actually really hard to just walk through there because there's like so much stuff. Okay, so the next thing is the B button that I was doing. There's apparently a stamina bar. Wait, where's the stamina bar? Am I, am I just not seeing it? I guess I'm not seeing it. It said there was stamina. What is this? Barn construction. Okay, I can make a barn right here. Um, Alright, so by the way, you start with 500 money. And the barn is only 800? 200 wood? Two, okay, well that doesn't seem too crazy actually. So I can't go up to the top. Uh, let me check out the bottom then. There might actually be nothing over here either. I don't know. Yeah, that just leads that way. Okay, so let's check out the uh, or the right side. Is this blocked? It's blocked. Okay. Let's go this way then to see if we can actually see something. What is this? This is the Planimal Party. And Planimal Pen. Hmm, not sure what that is yet. I'm sure we'll get introduced to that later. And then that's basically it for our farm. Okay, so... All we have to do is just, I guess, use up the rest of our stamina, I suppose? Sure. Am I gonna pass out? Can you actually pass out in this game? I feel like I should try it. Okay, you can't. How does stamina go to bed? Okay, now that I used everything, are you gonna tell me something different? No. Okay, I just have to go to bed. Got it, got it. Alright, let's go to bed. Let's sleep. Why did I go that way? Uh, would you like to rest until evening or the next day and regain your stamina? I think the next day. It's cool that you can go into the evening, though. End of day. Uh, I made no money. No money at all. Alright, day two. Day two. Here we go. I can water... Oh, there's birds over here, but I think they just fly off. Yeah, if you approach them. Okay, well, let's go ahead and water again. Gotta water our crops. Oh, I'm out of water. Um, okay, so it was telling me earlier that you just, you know, you fill it up. Any water source, I think, should work. I believe that worked. Okay. Yep. Perfect.
Alright, and then we'll just, uh, I mean, we can probably go now and explore the town or something. Let's take a look. Oh, it's not really a town, it's more forest. Okay, let's, um... Can't do anything there. What is this? Honey pepper, you discovered a honey pepper. Hardy food like this can be found by foraging around Planable Point, but they aren't that valuable. That's cool. Also, what the heck is this? Upgrade your backpack to unlock this slot. Okay, so like, my backpack is just my quick menu right now. I don't have any like actual backpack slots yet, I think. I think that's what it's saying. Alright, you can also chop trees apparently. Yeah, you can. You totally can. That's pretty cool actually. Okay. Most uh, Harvest Moonlight games really don't let you chop trees in the beginning. You have to upgrade your axe to eventually do that. I can keep going that way, but I'm just gonna come over here. Grab these things for here. Here's some flowers. Now, do these things... Uh, you discovered a gilly flower. A gilly flower flower. Flowers are mostly decorative, but you can sell them... Yeah. For a little bit of gold. Okay, that makes sense. That's about it for here. There's more birds over here, which is just gonna fly away. Here's another flower over here on this side. You discovered a bell flower. Flowers are mostly decorative. Okay. Same thing, same thing. So I think the game just probably wants me to ship some stuff. Yeah. Just making sure I didn't miss anything else, but I think we are actually good. Interesting. All right. Wow, the whole town is really sprung up fast, and it's all around my uncle's lab. There's a lot of buildings here. There's also a creature over there, an animal or whatever. A snail? Looks like a giant snail. Hmm. General store. Looks like there's the general store. I should check it out and also introduce myself around town. I'm sure that getting to know the townspeople will make my life on the farm more pleasant. Definitely, it usually is. Welcome to Planimal Point. Let me talk to you. Make sure you are taking care of your farm so you will have more time to explore the areas around Planimal Point. Uh, okay. Can I go there? Nope, I can't do anything here in this graveyard. Alright, sure. Let's, uh, let's go here into the general store. Who are you? Hello there, my name's Cassidy, and I run this general store. I saw a number of seeds and even bigger backpacks. If you need a whole- oh, nice. It's always nice to see a new customer. Welcome to Planimal Point, a town that seems to have sprung up almost overnight. People are coming from all over to see the planimals and slimes that have been discovered here. It's a perfect business opportunity for me. Come by any time during the day if you want to look at my wares. I have different items each season, so keep checking back. Sure. Let's check out what you have. Alright, so you got some, uh... Mutato seed? Radish seed? Backpack upgrade one. That's only a thousand. We're already halfway there. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, salt, sugar. Okay, so five things. I'm not sure if I need to be buying more seeds right now. I mean, probably, but... I don't know. I also want to check out the other shops first. Who's this? Misty. Work hard and play hard is my motto. I know Doc says not to work too hard because you can string yourself, but sometimes it's hard to know when to take a break. Tell me about it. Jesus, I, I upload like five freaking videos a day. <laughs> and also go to school. To grad school, I should add. I know some people are like, dude, you know, maybe you should like slow down sometimes, you know. Some mental health, some you time. And I'm like, that's a great idea. For the future. I'll still be uploading some stuff for now. Alright. You can carry quite a lot of stuff in that bag of yours. You know, you can just store some of that stuff in chests. Not everyone is as strong as I am. Uh, okay, what is this? Farm expansion. Sell all the items in the wild. Food collection to unlock this reward. Wild food collection. Oh, okay. I see. Interesting. So, we already have a, what, a honey pepper, I think? And then flower collection as well. And there's enemy collection, fish collection. Okay, so this is where you get rewards if you actually ship all the collections of a type of item. Okay. 
Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, where should we go now? To the right? Sure, let's check out the right. What is this building? Welcome to the Slimery? Okay. The name's a combination of Armory and Slime. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. My name is Thorn, and I run this place with my friend Spike. He's not very talkative, but I talk enough for both of us. If you need supplies for livestock, this is the place to come. I can also upgrade your tools. Tool upgrades cost money and minerals. Minerals can be found in the dungeon north of town, but be careful in there. Come by any time during the day when we're open and we're happy to help. Sounds great. Red slime. Uh, oh my god, the font is so small. Magical slime used to mutate your crops into planimals that age you in... What the heck? Okay. Magical slime used to mutate your crops into... Livestock. I see. Super red slime. What the magical slime used to mutate your crops into extremely powerful. Okay, so that's the difference. Got it, got it. Gold pickaxe. Uh, where's the silver upgrades? Did, did you all just skip the silver upgrade? You're like, oh, we're unique. We're not going to be a typical Harvest Moon game. If you get the basic setup on your farm, then you will have more time to work on creating planimals. Didn't that guy in the cemetery just say this? They're pretty cute, but, um, or something like that. Something about, like, oh, if you do this, you'll have more time to do that. Okay. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Hmm. Not really. Let's go in this building. Hello, people. Welcome to the clinic. I run the clinic with my daughter, Joy. This town has popped up pretty quickly, but people still need medicine, so we decided to open up. I sell a few useful items, such as stamina potions, so if you ever find... You need a little extra energy, then come see me. We're open every day. Thank you, thank you. Who are you? It's a spike. Okay. Uh, you said nothing. That was weird. Herbal tea. A a warm herbal tea that will warm warm up and refill a very small... Oh my god, when, you, when you're playing on a small TV, this makes it even worse. All of you just get, like, you know, the YouTube screen in general, whether it's your phone or your TV. I don't know if you're also having trouble reading that super small font, but it's a little difficult. Uh, refill a very small amount of stamina. Okay. Um, a small potion that refills a small amount of stamina. Okay. So, it just... Okay, herbal tea's even less. Got it. So, it's just stamina potions for the most part. I may not... I, it's really not worth spending money on that. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we can go to the right. Or... Did I just see somebody over here? Oh, it's the, it's the creature. It's the slime creature. So, I can't actually go in there. I don't think. I'm kind of just walking circles to check every corner, but no, I can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's water over there. There's another uh, animal right there. Or oh, maybe I should say a monster. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Uh, is this one open? Nope. It is closed. Okay. That's the... Yeah, we'll go there last, probably. Ooh, look at this. Little playground. That's so cute. It's a little horsey. Horse, horse, horse. Okay. Um... Okay, that's it for this area. What is over here? Look at the plan. Oh, same thing. Okay. Who is in this building? Uh, the answer is nobody is in this building. Wonderful. Um. Hmm. Interesting. What is this sign? Nothing. But there is a way to go over there. Okay. Vex and I live together so we can train for battles. Uh, that's cool. I don't know who you are, but that's cool. Okay, and then there's the saloon. That sounds intriguing. It says Calming Cove. Okay, so I can't... Oh! No, I don't have the money. We have to unblock that. Let's go in the saloon. We can't go in the saloon! Well, shoot. Okay, so I talked to you already, right? Yeah. So this was so this was the second building I went into, I think. Oh, no, wait, no. I didn't... Wait, no, hold on. I went into that one. What was the other one? I went into that one. Oh, I see. I went into that one, too. Okay, oh, and then this one's close, too. What is this one? Glowing Glade. I'm gonna say no to that as well. Um, so it seems like there's only one area left because like that pink house is closed the saloon was also closed oh wait there's this one 
We didn't go in this one. What the hell? This one's closed too. Or not closed, but like, this one has no people in there. It, it almost seems closed. I don't think it's a business, so I think it's just a regular house. And I already talked to you. I believe that's it, because then that one was also closed. And by closed again, there's just no people in there. Uh, let's go into our uncle's house and see what's going to be in here, actually. Alright. Hey there, Shiny. So you couldn't wait to learn about my research, could you? I've discovered a magical slime in a dungeon north of town. Slimes come in different colors and have mysterious properties. I've been experimenting and have discovered that when you place a red slime into a crop, you are growing that it will transform. The crop will turn into what I call a planimal. They're fiercely protective of whoever makes them and will even follow you around. People around town are finding all kinds of use for slime. Some are even able to power their houses with it. So you may notice a few strange pipes around town. The Slime Co... Slime Co... The Slime Co... Pump Pumping company has even moved into town. I'm not sure exactly what they want because they're, they're pretty secretive. The dungeons are closed at the moment, but I've collected some hard slime for you. Simply apply it to a planted crop or even a seed, and the plant will blossom into a planimal. Whoa. Make sure you keep watering it, though. It's really an amazing sight to see. I already had built a planimal pen on your farm that you probably noticed. The pen can be used to manage your planimals. Planimals seem to get jealous of each other, so it's best to only have one of each at a time. So it's best to have, have, okay. It's best to only have one of each type at a time. Take this red slime and give it a try. One of each type, okay. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Okay, not really. Um, so you were saying that the north is closed off too or something? I mean, the east and the west are also closed. Um... I need to pay 1500 apiece so I can unlock those sections. Let's see what's up here. There might be more stuff to forage. What the hell is this? What? Is that supposed to be the loading screen? That's so weird and creepy. Alright, um... Slime go, keep out. Hmm, there's no one here. It's all this stuff. I know everyone is interested in planimals, but something about slime plus seems off. Hmm. There's definitely nothing in here. A red, a green, and a blue. Whatever this means. No trick is to use a, a pickler or jam cast to improve your raw materials. They fetch a much better price. Really. Sorry, trying to dungeon this block right now. Try coming back another day. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Sure. And then there's bridges also closed. So there is really not too much that we can do right now except just focus on our crops and maybe getting a planimal as well. Oh, okay. See, it's always a different creature every time in the middle. I guess it's a different planimal every time. But yeah, we did explore everything that we can for now. Um, there's not much else we can do at the moment, but we'll just uh, we'll just go back. Oh, by the way, the ZR button also lets you actually um, use your uh, tool, and so does the ZL. ZL, ZR do that. I mean, if you're playing on a Switch, I don't know about other consoles, but for the Switch, the ZL. And the ZR are like Y, they just use your tool. The L and R shift from the uh, quick menu at the bottom. The B button is dash. The A button doesn't really do anything unless you are examining something, of course, if you're in front of something. The Y is also tool. The X is nothing from what I know. The plus is pause like always, and the minus is this menu that brings up all these different things. Um, that's basically it. The right stick and the left stick being pushed don't do anything. You can even hear me clicking doesn't do anything um, and that's basically it for all the buttons of course all right well um, and we have stamina left over oh actually one thing I'm gonna I guess try and do is uh wait hold on can you cycle backwards yes you can awesome I hate it when games don't let you do that like when you're here and you want to go to the red line let's say some games wouldn't actually let you just press L to cycle you have to actually go all the way to the right which is so annoying you know but that's good to know Alright, so, yeah, we're just gonna, what, place it there? 
then that's it. So when it harvests, it'll be it'll be good. Um, I think I should also definitely put some stuff in here. I think I, I think the game wants me to actually you know deposit this stuff. Wait, what? No, no, I want to put. What? Wait, 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 wait. Why does it go over there? I want to put it in the in the thing. Oh, oh, oh okay, I see. It's weird. Like the thing appearing on the left side, it makes you think that it moved over there, but no, it's like you're, it's, it just means you're holding it. But the problem is that it's not appearing on the. You see this red square in yellow? Um, um, th this uh. This little square here that's yellow, um, sorry, I said red because I was looking at the freaking red axis, but whatever, this square, most games when you actually select an item, it would still be holding, like, it would be holding onto your square, but not in this game. So I thought it moved to the left over there, but no, it just, just think of it that you're holding it. While the item is on the left, you're actually holding it, and then you deposit it there. It's a little weird, I'll be honest. It's very strange that somebody who's played dozens of farming games... This is very, this is very weird. I'm um, just seeing it like this, um, but there we go. So we put him in there. Awesome. Yeah, all good. And I mean, I guess we can just uh, keep chopping up some stuff. Why are some of these lumber's a different color? I'm actually not sure why. Like I really don't know. You have reached level one. You have learned how to make a chest. Um. Okay, so do I want to make a chest? I think that's crafting, yeah. Placeable storage, put whatever you want in it. How do I do this? Wait. Oh, it's just automatic? I thought I'd have to like craft it. No, I think it's just automatic. Like you just... The game lies, it says I can put it anywhere, but no I can't. I can't put it here in the middle of the street. I wanted to put it here. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll put it like maybe right there. If we can. Sure. Awesome, so we get some storage. So, yeah, I guess when you unlock them, you can just pretty much use the item right away. You don't actually craft it, but you only get one of it. As you can see, it's not letting me put another one. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, we're gonna just go... Actually, yeah, we'll go into this. What am I doing? I mean... It makes sense to use up all your stamina before you go to bed, since you're gonna get a full heal, and you know, you wanna level up as much as possible, of course, so... I know that this video has been kinda slow, it was mainly because I was going around uh, talking to all the villagers, you know, getting introduced to some stuff, for sure. But it'll definitely pick up starting in the second episode, that's for sure. Um, it'll definitely get a lot, a lot faster of a pace, you know? Even though we are, I mean, we still made some pretty decent progress for it being the first one. Alright, so I want to see if, um, well, I'll eventually see if the amount of items that you have can go beyond 99. Um, every farming game does it differently. Some games, you know, 99 is your limit or 100 is your limit and then you cannot get any more at all. Some games, again, 99 is your limit, but you can actually get more, it just makes a new slot. And then some games... They go beyond 99, they go to like 999 and even beyond that. It just kind of depends. This one I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll either get a new slot, um, or we can't go beyond 99, or we can go beyond 99 in the same slot. Who knows? Alright, so uh, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and sleep here It's uh, next day, sure. So is the game saving? Yeah, game save. Okay, it appeared at the bottom right corner. So here's what we made, we made 20 bucks from a bellflower, 20 bucks from a gilded flower, and 80 bucks, so 40 bucks each for the honey pepper because we sold two honey pepper. That's not bad, we're at 620 and it's raining today. Alright, well this is actually a good way to end the video here, um, you know, we did two days and we explored the entirety of the town and got a slime, so next episode we should be able to get our first uh, planimal, whatever that is, and we'll see how that mechanic works. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.